Hello everyone, welcome to Storytime. My name's Christopher and I work at the Ann Arbor District Library and we're gonna have a lot of fun today. Now many of you know how I like to begin Storytime. It's with a little song called Clap Everybody and Say Hello. And if you'd clap with me, we'll get through it together. All right, here it goes. Clap everybody and say hello, say hello, say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Welcome to story time. I think you've got it. Can you help clap along while I play on the banjo? That'd be great. Clap everybody and say hello, say hello, say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. You know, I like to say hello in lots of other languages around the world. So let's say hello in Japanese. Konnichiwa. Clap everybody and say konnichiwa. Say konnichiwa. Say konnichiwa. Clap everybody and say konnichiwa. Welcome to story time. Let's say hello in Hawaiian. Aloha. Clap everybody and say aloha, say aloha, say aloha. Clap everybody and say aloha. Welcome to story time. How about in Hindi? Namaste. Clap everybody and say namaste, say namaste, say namaste. Clap everybody and say namaste. Welcome to story time. Welcome everyone. We've got some great stories for you today and I can't wait to get to them. But first, you know what we've got to do. We've got to welcome the Grand Old Duke of York with some jumping. Oh, Duke of York! And I think he's here. The Grand Old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up, and when you're down, you're down, and when you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. Do you have it? If you don't have it now, you will by the time the jumping's over. Let's speed things up. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. Super fast! The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched him up to the top of the hill and he marched him down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Nice work. Well, before we get down to the business of today and see what our stories are all about, I want to tell you about some exciting things happening on AADL.TV. This coming Saturday on the Saturday show, I'm so excited. It's all about jokes and riddles and puzzles. And you get to see all of your favorite AADL storytellers and favorite staff members. So it's going to be a great show. And you know what comes next every Monday on AADL.TV. It's baby time for people zero to two years old, and they're grown-ups too. So check those out. They're two great shows. And now, on with the show! We've got some great stories. Let's find out what they're going to be about today. Well, I've got something over here. I've got a letter. It's a letter A. Oh, there we go. So I guess we've got stories about things that start with A, but, uh, wait a minute, what's that over there? Oh, there's a B as well. So we have stories about things that are 
Starting with A and B? Hmm, why would that happen? I've got an idea. It's because the word alphabet is based on the names of the old letters, alpha and beta. And people put those two letter names together and came up with the word alphabet. Well, we have stories today all about the alphabet. Are you ready? Our first one is by Leo Leone. It's a doozy. It's called the alphabet tree. And this is how it goes. Once upon a time, there was a tree and all the letters loved to gather in that tree. Do you see some of your favorites there? Well, the letters loved to be in the tree because it gave them shade and they could gather and chat and wiggle around and have a lot of fun. But you know, one day a strong wind came by and the letters held on as best they could, and most of them were still there. But they realized that the world can be a precarious place. To keep from blowing off, they all huddled together on a few leaves and stuck close to each other, and the wind blew and blew. Well, they were all huddling together there, and suddenly... Hey! You know, if you would get together and cling to each other, you'd be a lot stronger, and the wind wouldn't carry you away so easily. Did you ever think of that? Well, the letters hadn't thought of that, and indeed, they did get together, and they learned how to form words. And pretty soon, there were all kinds of words on the tree. They formed the word tree and the word word. That's kind of meta. And the word cat. And the word leaf. And you know, some of them were such smarty pants, but we like that. They formed some really tricky words, like quinoa and you, spelled E-W-E. Well, a big wind came by, and the letters realized that indeed, it was so much easier to cling to the branches when they were together, and no one was carried off by the wind. And the letters were very happy. But you know, one day, a big, fuzzy caterpillar came by and said, Hey, all you words down there are just making nonsense. Why don't you get together and form something sensible, like a phrase or a sentence? Well, that's just what they did. They all rearranged themselves to say peace on earth. And the caterpillar carried that phrase through all the land. And the letters were so happy to be read by all. Good listening. I love Leo Leone. You know, after all that great listening, I think it might be time for a little more jumping. Did someone say that? Well, you know who's best at helping us with jumping? It's our friend Ralph. Oh, Ralph! Uh, I don't see him. Is he coming? Oh, Ralph! Oh, there he is! Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Ralph, how you doing today? Okay, 
hungry. <laughs> well, listen, I'm sure you're going to get a snack while we're having fun, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ralph, you know how we do this. Oh, dance any way you want to. Dance any way you please. Dance any way you want to, but stop when I say freeze. <laughs> oh, jump any way you want to. Jump any way you please. Jump any way you want to, but stop when I say freeze. Well, hey, Ralph. What do you feel like doing? Swimming. All right, let's get a swim in. Swim any way you want to. Swim any way you please. Swim any way you want to. But stop when I say freeze. You know, Ralph, after all that dancing and jumping and swimming, what do you feel like? Maybe nap. Oh, you want to take a little nap? Yeah. All right. It's nap time. It's a good thing because I'm getting tired. Oh, sleep any way you want to. Sleep any way you please. Sleep any way you want to. But napping, but stop when I say freeze. No, you woke us up with all that yelling. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. See you next time, Ralph. Bye. <laughs> all right. Say goodbye to Ralph. Well, I've got another great story for you today. It is, what do we have today? Oh, we've got Z is for moose. And here it is. Well, we've got a couple of friends to help us tell the story. It's Mrs. Z. Hello! And moose. Hey, nice to be here. Well, Mrs. Z, would you like to start us off? Sure. A is for apple. That's true. B is for ball. Yeah. C is for cat. Hey, I like cats. D is for dog. When are we going to get to me? Me! Mm. E is for elephant. F is for mouse. Right? It's mouse. No. It's not moose. Ah, where was I? Well, let's pick up with G. Okay. G is for giraffe. H is for hyrax. Hyrax? What's a hyrax? <laughs> I is for ink. J is for jelly. K is for kangaroo. Ah, it's almost my turn. Me soon. L is for moose. Moose, it's my turn. No. L is for lollipop. M is for moose. No. M is for mouse. Huh? Mouse? I'm a moose. Moose. Ah, oh, alphabet. Ah, can I continue? N is for night. Ah, O is for otter. P is for Moose, stop wrecking my show! Uh, where was I? P is for possum. Q 
is for quinoa. R is for raccoon. S is for moose. No. S is for sandwich. T is for Tyrannosaurus. Ah. Ah. This alphabet's no fun. U is for umbrella. What's wrong? Where's Moose? Well, V is for Vine. W is for Wombat. Uh, it's almost over. X is for Xylophone. Y is for Yeti. Z is for... Uh, it's almost over. Z is for Zebra's Friend Moose. Yay! Yay! That's the way to end the alphabet. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, Dr. Knickerbocker! Dr. Knickerbocker, Knickerbocker, number nine. I just got back and I'm feeling fine. Now I've got the rhythm of the head tap tap. You've got the rhythm of the head tap tap. I've got the rhythm of the nose honk honk. You've got the rhythm of the nose honk honk. I've got the rhythm of the shoulders do wop. You've got the rhythm of the shoulders do wop. I've got the rhythm of the elbows bonk bonk. You've got the the rhythm of the elbows bonk bonk tap tap honk honk do wop bonk bonk dr knickerbocker knickerbocker number nine i just got back and i'm feeling fine now i've got the rhythm of the hands clap clap you've got the rhythm of the hands clap clap i've got the rhythm of the finger snip snap you've got the rhythm of the finger snip snap i've got the rhythm of the tummy tap tap you've got the rhythm of the tummy tap tap i've got the rhythm of the hips who we you've got the rhythm the mother hips who we clap clap snip snap tap tap who we Dr. Knickerbocker, Knickerbocker, number nine, a one, a two, a three, four, five, a six, a seven, a eight, and nine. I say a one, a two, a three, four, five, a six, a seven, a eight, and nine. Hey, 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 hey. We did it with your help. Now we've got time for just one more story, and here it is. P is for pterodactyl, and it's a very silly alphabet book. A is for aisle. The bread aisle has not been cleaned in eons, and nine tiny beasts meet to have a feast. B is for delium. We doubt anyone knows what delium is, but it's the only word dumb enough to begin with a silent B. C is for czar. Shh! The fascinating czar is secretly part Czech. <clears throat> D is for Djibouti. The boat race begins when the handsome judge from Djibouti drops his handkerchief from the bridge. E is for you. Eileen the U was so euphoric, the wolves were eaten, she even gave the eulogy. F is not for photo, phlegm, phooey, or phone. F is only for photo when you speak fluent Spanish at home. G is for gnocchi. The gnome yells, Waiter, there's a bright white gnat nibbling on my gnocchi. H 
H is for air. The honest air admits that herbalism isn't his cup of tea. I is not for I. We asked the pirate if he has two eyes, and he said, I, I. J is for high lie. Juanita and Bjorn happily played high lie before eating fajitas in Juarez. K is for knight. The noble knight's knife nicked the knave's knee. L is not for L. An elephant named L rode the L train halfway to El Paso and dined on hearts of palm with her folks. M is for mnemonic, but now Mr. M can't remember why. N is not for not. N is for naughty children who will sing a solemn hymn when autumn comes to an end. O is for Ouija. The French leopard says, We, oui, we'd love to play Ouija with the wee witch from Oaxaca. P is for pterodactyl. Ptolemy the psychic pterodactyl struggles with psoriasis. Q is for quinoa. We can enjoy quinoa and quiche by the keys of Cutter. R is not for R. In England, the queen proclaims, we aren't saying the R's in butterfly, shark, or lizard. S is for seas. Cece swam through the debris in the seas to see the imaginary isle of New Arkansas. T is for tsunami. The charging tsunami washed away all of Tchaikovsky's tchotchkes. U is not for you. You never could have guessed that the wolf was disguised as the U. V is for five. How romantic. W is for wren. The wren wrapped the rabbit's gift in red, but forgot to write a note. X is for xylophone. Xavier's extra arm made him an exceptional xylophone player. Y is not for why. But Eve, who is wearing yellow shorts, yells, Why is the Eiffel Tower upside down? Z is for Zhivago. Good night, Zhivago the zebra. I've enjoyed our rendezvous. <laughs> I really like that one. Well... You know what time it is? It's time for the pirate song. When I was one, I sucked my thumb on the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was two, I tied my shoe on the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was three, I tapped my knee on the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. <laughs> nice job, everyone. Now you know what time it is. <clears throat> There was a girl from France who didn't know how to dance. 
The only thing that she could do was knees up, Mother Brown. No oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown, and sit back down. There was an alphabet tree, aided by a spelling bee. The only thing that it could do was knees up, Mother Brown. No oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown, and sit back down. Pterodactyl is a funny word. Some say its spelling is quite absurd. The only thing that it could do was knees up, Mother Brown. No oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown, and sit back down. There was a teeny tiny man who loved to do handstands. Oh, can he do it today? There's one, two, oh, almost. The only other thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let the trees up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Super fast. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let the trees up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Wiggle, wiggle fingers right up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers and wave them all goodbye. I'll see you next time. <laughs>